ball with everything you need. Cat. <laughs> Condo. Oh, Skytrain. Perfect. Good morning from Bangkok, Thailand. Let's have a look. Beautiful day out there. So today I want to show you why I think this is the best value for money and the best area to live in Bangkok. Besides having the SkyTrain right at your doorstep, there's another reason why I really love living here, and that is the convenience of what's just outside. So let's start there. Let's go. So, let's show you the number one convenience about living here. Lovely lobby, by the way. So from the entrance of the building to the shopping mall, right there, it's approximately 30 seconds. Super convenient for everything you need. Wake up! <laughs> you can see up there, there's a jogging track. We'll have a look at that too. And that's free to use. And then Wisdom 101 Shopping Mall, which is, as I said, just a stone's throw away. You just literally walk straight across the uh, parking lot and you're here. This is called 101 Street. And several of these shops are open 24 hours, which is super convenient. There's all the usual ready to eat stuff. Chicken breast, 40 bucks for a buck. Salad, 30 bucks. There you go, it's lunch. And a Boots Pharmacy. And right here is a KFC. You got a hankering for that. There you go, bucket for one, 99 bucks. You get one fry, two pieces of chicken. And a refill. Not bad. Pretty good. What do you got? And then we're right into the mall. It took about 30 seconds to get here. And immediately you're seeing all kinds of food, places to eat, S and P. One of my faves. Chicken cashew nut. <laughs> Japanese. And a DQ. Very clean. Besides these kind of shops, we also have a pretty decent food court too. I'll show you. And this is my go-to for Kapow Guy. Right here. Of course, endless Thai restaurants, <laughs> of course. Some really good ones too, like this one. This is uh, Isan style. And here's a wine shop, wine and spirits. You can also come in here and it's sort of a semi bar at night. I don't see no one in there in the middle of the day right now, on a weekday. And McDee's. I think I've been there probably twice. And no offense, Ronnie, but it's there if you want it in a pinch. This place here is a bomb. They've got the best durian. A lot of hotel rooms have a no durian sign. Maybe I'll put that up. It's kind of funny when you check into a hotel. It'll say no smoking, no durian. <laughs> and downstairs we have a Tops, which is our local supermarket. Very handy. I love having a supermarket right downstairs from where I live. Fresh baked goodies here. 
I usually go to a bakery to get my stuff, but in a pinch, I come here. Dragon fruit there. Tops a wee bit pricier than Tesco Lotus, but they're just down the street at On Newt, two stops away. So if you want uh, superstore prices, just go get on the SkyTrain and five minutes later, you can get superstore prices. We've got just about everything you have back home, as you can see, and more. And now we're getting to the proper market area, the fresh market. Five dollars for that steak. It says grain feds age 120 days. I've tried these a couple times, they're not bad. They'll do in a pinch, but there's also an importer butcher. I'm Canadian. We just call it bacon. <laughs> and endless cheeses. You can say cheeses? Endless cheese. Oh. Some of you are probably interested in this too. How much is? Decent wine's gonna set you back because you're paying a big import tax. So Penfold, Shiraz, $8.89. Aussies are probably just rolling their eyes right now. Again, if you're allowing, you're saying, two bucks for a beer? Oh, never. <laughs> but here, that's not bad. How much are you paying for a Chang in Lao? Here we're paying 33 for the small bottle for Chang. 55 for the large. Leo, same price now. I remember a time when Leo was cheaper, but now they're parity price. You see the bottle there, 35. Pastas. Something I can't live without, apple cider vinegar. But dear, 439 for Bragg's. Coleman's. <laughs> Being the Brits are gonna be rolling their eyes. And of course, every kind of cereal selection that you could possibly think of. But here's what's cheap here, green tea, ginger tea. Anything that's from here is a lot cheaper. Something else that's quite handy in a pinch, self-checkout. Especially at peak hours when there's a lineup. There you go. And even the shopping malls have charging stations now. These do get busy and they're getting busier. It's a great idea to charge up while you're getting a coffee and shopping. Tops. You can see it's not even a minute from my doorstep. Love it. And upstairs, we got banks and more. Office Mate is an office supply store. A little bit pricier than, than others, but damn convenient if you need something. And it's right downstairs from where you live. Nothing worse if you forgot a cable or something. Oh, never mind. There's one downstairs. Perfect. wine connection. It's a good standby for kind of comfort foods, if you will. I'll show you. Oh, oh, oh. Bread to dip. Cup and cup. And of course, Tabasco. And again, park-like setting here, under the roof. Lots of places to chill or work or meet friends. It's really nice. Maybe I'll switch and I'll show you what it looks like at night. <laughs> 
Look at, look at that jogging track on the other side. That goes all the way around. There you go, through Digital Park. Oasis in the madness. <laughs> Mall with everything you need. Cat. <laughs> True Digital Park. Condo. Oh, SkyTrain. Perfect. It's right next to SkyTrain station. In fact, it's connected to it with a walkway. Can't beat that. Okay, now that you've seen the conveniences just outside the door, let's finally have that tour, shall we? Well, by the way, around back, we have a little park area. Nice little sitting area here in the shade. I should add residence park, not just park. You have to live here to access. Quite nice. Don't forget to stop and smell the flowers. <laughs> Lovely, yeah? Somebody's doing some gardening back here. Nice. There you go. Wisdom Park. <laughs> oh, there's something in here I should show you as well. In our parkade, charging station. A few of them actually. And they're getting good use, I might add. Every brand new building in Bangkok has these, and even my old building I used to live in by the riverside retrofitted. I mean, if you don't retrofit to an electric car charger, the value of your property is going to go down, isn't it? Because if someone's choosing to live in a place that has chargers or doesn't, which one you're going to choose, right? Fifth floor to the pool. So, I know, I know, it looks tiny, right? But I tell you what, it's exactly the right size for me. If it was bigger, that'd be fine, but this is just perfect for me. And also, I like the fact that the kitchen is back here versus sometimes they have the kitchen there and the sofa here. When you're sitting at your sofa, you've got no view because your sofa is over here in, in many configurations. So I really much prefer this configuration. You can see there's lots of storage and a uh, just a kitchenette table with two chairs. It's perfect. And I actually I had <laughs> I had an office chair where that sort of uh, extension settee is sitting there and I'd have that view of course doing editing etc. It's kind of nice to have that view. Where's the washing machine you say? There it is. Washing machine. And a big size fridge, which I really enjoy because I love to cook. So it's great to have a big freezer as well. It's got a proper one bedroom. It's not one of these silly one bedrooms where you slide a, a door, etc. There's a good size closet there, bifold doors, and a Hongnam bathroom. 
and a nice hot shower. So I really enjoyed this apartment. I've loved the uh, location and the conveniences. And I'll put the price that I've been paying for this up on the screen now. By the way, prices are rising, but I still see a couple of units online for similar prices to what I'm paying, but they go really fast these days. But I'm about to go on a quest to find a new home, hopefully with the beach and also very convenient with good value. So watch my upcoming bids and see how I get on. Believe it or not, living here when I'm not on the road, in a month, an average month, I spend about 40, 45,000 baht. Including <laughs> rent, utilities, food, eating out. That's what I spent. <laughs> So in just minutes, you can be here, <laughs> right in the thick of things. Personally, I just come down here maybe once a week. If this is what you like, come and live down here in Lower Sugarbeam. I have before. Much prefer where I live now. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think we'll leave it here. Thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed the vid. See you in the next one. Good night. Bang, jadi, bang, jadi, bang, jadi, bang.